What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video we're talking about a new version of the check rain jailbreak that has been released and this is actually a very important release especially if you're planning to use the project sandcastle and I'm going to talk about it in a few seconds. So if you navigate here to the original check rain website you can see that there is now a new version available which is the 0.9.8.1 beta. Now this beta in here has only one thing added and it says in here support project sandcastle. Now for those of you who have no idea what the project sandcastle is it's basically this one here by Corellium. We're going to talk about it in a few seconds. But anyways, the check rain jailbreak is a semi-tether jailbreak that works on the iPhone 5s all the way up to the iPhone 10, and it supports the iOS 12.3 all the way up to the latest version available currently, which is 13.3.1. So this is actually a jailbreak that supports 13.3.1 and all the 13 firmware in here, including the 12.4.1, 12.4, and stuff like that. So this is actually a very massive jailbreak for those devices. Now the update that has been pushed last night is basically for the Project Sandcastle, which is Corellium's attempt to get basically Android on the iPhone. So they actually managed to do it and we talked about it, the uh, Project Sandcastle is actually quite successful at this moment because they did manage to get the Android running on the iPhone. And yeah, that screenshot you see in here on the right is basically real Android 10 running on the iPhone 7 Plus. So this is actually massive. And this is done thanks to the check rain jailbreak. You do require check rain jailbreak and not any check rain jailbreak. This particular version here, 0.9.8.1 beta, the previous versions wouldn't work. And of course you have to update your check rain if you're planning to get Android on your device. Now you should keep in mind that if you're installing Android to test it on your device, it's not going to mess up with your iOS. It's sort of like dual booting. So it shouldn't mess with any of the iOS components and you would be able to basically go back to iOS no problem. But yes, the Project Sandcastle, as I said in my previous video, I made a video about it, you can check it out in the description down below, is actually quite massive. It's the first time real Android, you know, real modern Android boot and run successfully on an iPhone, a modern iPhone. They did try it back in the uh, 2010, I think, with the older iPhones, in fact, the first iPhone, and I think the Android 2 point something or 1 point something, and they did succeed at that moment, but then they dropped the project. Nowadays, this is the only version of Android that actually runs on modern iOS devices, and this is actually quite incredible since it's been 10 years since real Android ran on an iPhone. But as the Corellium reveals in here, they said, quote, We'd particularly like to thank the team behind CheckRain and Pango OS for their support and assistance. So this is actually hand in hand with the CheckRain jailbreak. And if you're planning to do the project, you do need CheckRain. And as I said, you do need this version in here, which is currently available for Mac OS, but also for Linux. So it's no longer Mac OS only. There are a couple of versions available in here, including for the Raspberry Pi. So it's definitely very good. Now, if you don't need a Project Sandcastle and you only jailbreak for Cydia and Tweaks, you still need to update your CheckRain because this is the latest version available and of course it's always a good idea to update to the latest tool available. Now the Project Sandcastle also has something new. The Corellium posted quote, the Android 10 portion of the Project Sandcastle is now up on GitHub too. Now you too can build a complete Android image and of course they posted the, uh, the link in here which now contains the whole project including the Android part and of course they have in here the uh, build.sh, the script and of course other parts in there. So the uh, Android for iPhone project is completely open source and of course anybody can pitch in and contribute. So this is actually incredible, the first time Android proper Android, modern Android, runs on modern iPhone. And this is not an emulation, this is not a simulation, this is not virtualized in any way, this is actual real Android booting on the iPhone. So this project is massive. But yeah, definitely update your check rain jailbreak right now. And of course, if you're planning to use the Project Sandcastle to get the uh, Android running on your iPhone, at least for a test, definitely you need 0.9.8.1 because this one introduces support for that project. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.